In this question, we're told that Kyle creates a number pattern where he starts at 1 and adds 6 each time. And then Marla creates a number pattern starting at 3 and then adding 7 each time. And what we have to do is find a number that is both in Kyle's and Marla's patterns. Okay, so let's start with Kyle. We know that the first number in his pattern is a 1, and then he's going to add 6 each time. So if we added 6 to 1, we'd get 7. Add 6 to 7, we'd get 13. If we added another 6, we'd get 19. And we keep going for a bit here. Add another 6 would be 25. Add another 6, we'd get 31. Add another 6, we'd get 37, etc. Let's see how that goes. Okay, let's look at Marla. So she's going to start at 3, and then she's going to add 7 each time. So the next number would be 10. Add another 7 would be 17. Add another 7 would be 24. Add another 7, she'd get 31. Add another 7, she'd get 38. Add another 7, she'd get 45, etc. Okay, let's look at the patterns and see if any of the numbers match up. Well, if we do that, we can see that 31 is in both number patterns. So here we go. There's 31 there, 31 there. So therefore, the number 31 is in both patterns. Now, we could also extend this problem and ask ourselves, is there another number that's in both Kyle's and Marla's patterns? Well, if you kept going you'll find that 73 is the next number that's in both Kyle and Marla's patterns. And there you go.